Uh, my name's uh, Roland French and I'm the creative director of Fast and Furious Live. So I think fans of Fast and Furious Live are going to get deep, deeply submerged within the brand. You, if you ever wanted to know what it was like to be on set while they were recording Fast and Furious, this is the show to come and see. You know, it's all the biggest stunts from all eight movies um, t tied together with this all new storyline which picks up from the end of eight. I just think it's a hugely exciting show. I think fans are going to love it. The narrative of Fast and Furious Live is kind of, in many ways, a simple one. We have, we have uh, James Dawson, who's a DSS agent, and Sophia, who's a street racer, and the two of them come together in order to try and take down this bad guy. And they, in order to catch him, they recruit the whole audience. So they bring the whole audience in to make one huge team. And the audience, using a voting system, are able to build a car, they go to race wars, they go to drag racing, um, and we jump through all the different movies in order to explain some things that the crowd will need to know in order to help Jimmy and Sophia catch their guy at the end of the show. So it's a whole new storyline and it's one that the audience feel part of. And I think the most exciting thing is that they get to subtly alter the course of the, the, the story every, every night. So, you know, we ever slow slightly do things differently live. It's, it's cool, no one's ever tried to do it before. So I hope it works. I think one of the most exciting things about doing Fast and Furious Live is, is condensing all the big explosions, all the stunts into what is actually quite a small space. And I think people who come and see the show are going to be blown away by just the proximity of everything. You know, the drivers have been training for five or six months to be able to make the smallest of margins work. Um, and I think it's one of the big draws of the show. Fast and Furious Live is obviously about cars, always, um, and not only have we got ex-picture cars from the studio, so we've got Roman's Lamborghini from Fate of the Furious, we have the original flip car that Shaw drove, we have so many ex-film cars in the show, which is amazing, but also the teams that build the cars for the movies in LA have also made a whole bunch of our cars for us as well, and there's something deeply exciting about seeing all these original recreations of these cars that we've all grown up with as uh, petrol heads, so it's really exciting. Sophia has the most unbelievable 700 horsepower GTR with this Ben Sopra wide arch body kit on it. It's so beautiful, it's all new. Um, it's a bit of a nod to a car that Paul uh, had at the end of six, so the fans should look out for that for sure. Vin Diesel has been an unbelievable mentor to me um, as a creative within Fast and Furious. Um, you know, he's the godfather of the brand. He's the beating heart of it. And I've been flowing backwards and forwards in LA. We've done some filming with him. He and I did some filming in New York. So there's new content to the show um, that no one will ever seen before. And just, he's been able to help advise and steer um, what, what the show should be. So, I mean, it's amazing that he's come tonight. He told me he wouldn't miss it and he hasn't. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, he's been amazing. People who love and know these films, what can they expect from the live experience? You know, many, many of the stunts that have been on the films were performing live. You know, the, the films have had you know loads of times to rehearse the stunts and everything, but we've got to do it bang on. So expect you know some big stunts and you know not everything to go smoothly all the time. Can you talk about how you've managed to take the O2 as a venue and turn it into a, a stunt park? So our playground, if you like, is 50 meters by 24. And as I say, that is our playground. And you wouldn't believe the amount of stuff that we're able to do on there. You know, we're, we're drifting, we're, there's so many different things that we're able to do. You know, as I say, we're doing the, the stunts from the movies in a 50 by 24 meter space. It's gonna be incredible. Well, obviously Dom's charger, it's, it's the star. Uh, the Supra as well. I mean, the, a lot of original vehicles have come from Universal Studios, so they are the real deal. Uh, there's a lot of cars specifically built to do specific things, um, but I'm sure everybody will be very excited by all the vehicles we have. And in terms of uh, the overall structure of the show, how much of it is a recreation of events we've already seen and how much of it is original storytelling, original stunt? Well, it, it's basically a brand new story that's been told by using excerpts from the movies. Driving is only a very, very small part of, of the big show. We've got the 3D mapping, which is absolutely incredible. You know, we can be in uh, Tokyo park, car park one minute, Miami the next. You know, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. And I think all of that adds to the, to the show that's ma making it groundbreaking. Um, the music, special effects, you know, everything's just making it incredible. You talk a little bit about how it feels to have Vin Diesel here tonight for the world premiere, obviously the father of Fast and Furious. Absolutely, you know, I couldn't be happier that Vin's here. I'm sure, I hope he's really excited to see the show. We're excited to meet him. It's just incredible, incredible.
I'm Jody Riceburn. I'm one of the stunt drivers for Fast and Furious Live. And I'm Sebastian Frosty, the Frenchie stunt driver as well. <laughs> Guys, it's amazing to have you here tonight. Can you talk a little bit about what overall fans of the series of films can expect from the live experience of Fast and Furious? Well, the best thing about it, we've got, you know, we've got actual movies, uh, actual movies, we've got actual cars from the movies and we're doing stunts from the movies and they're not in a film, they're live, you know, so they're going to literally be happening in front of your face and it's with the cars from the movies so you know fans would expect that really it's going to be amazing yeah all the best action scenes in like all the movies like all the franchise we're all doing that but live in front of the audience and all the fans can you talk about the danger level of not just doing these kinds of stunts but in an enclosed space like the o2 yeah we need, we, we're doing that in a arena size which is quite small but we're like pre-prepared 16 weeks of training with obviously precision driving so it is a very small arena but every arena we go to is going to be the same size they're all going to be tiny so but we've had that training we've got like six vehicles in the arena at a time we just know that we've got to be where you know we're meant to be and then we're, we're never going to crash so it's fine there's a huge amount of prep that's gone into this is there one sequence in particular that was the most challenging from a technical point of view from the driving well there is one sequence where there's five vehicles and three objects on the stage so obviously that was a big big push for everyone but we've managed to get through it so it's been fun what does it mean for you guys to have vin diesel here himself for the world premiere tonight for a very special introduction oh i can't wait to meet him it's yeah it's really it it's great it's great to have like the boss coming tonight yeah really can't wait to meet him hello my name is marco budaway hi i'm alicia wren this live experience, it's a you know, Fast and Furious film performed in front of you with all the best stunts, live, audience interaction, you know, Vin Diesel, some old characters in there. Um, so yeah, very exciting. Yeah, very excited. I mean, what I'm loving about this is that it's a show that has something for everyone. Uh, people who love the show, diehard fans, and people who are new to it, you know, they're going to be fascinated by all these stunts that are shown 30, like, you know, 30 feet away from them. Can you talk a little bit about the challenges of replicating some of these very dangerous stunts in such a confined space? Absolutely. I mean, obviously, we, as our characters, we don't perform that. We haven't got the skills to do it. But I think for the drivers, you know, they had 16 weeks of intense training. Um, they're the best drivers in the world, best stunt drivers that we could have. So, you know, for yeah. them, I think it was a huge challenge, but they're incredible. So. I mean, there's a stunt that I'm involved in in the finale where, you know, there's, I'm doing lots of stuff that, you know, a uh, DSS agent would do, you know, a Hobbs character would do, where there's lots of like fighting and action and stuff and wire stuff, you know. So that was a bit odd, you know, trying to get the timings and making it look realistic and everything. But it's been great. It's been a great experience. And getting to work with the stunt guys, they've been really, really cool and warm to me. And, you know, they've helped me along the way to make sure that I can do the best that I can. I mean, my character is Sophia. She is a street racer. You know, she used to race back with Letty. So she's involved in that aspect of the family and the films. Um, you know, and I think she, as Letty does, she brings another powerful female influence to the film. She's a strong alpha female uh, and teaching Jimmy along the way, isn't she, how to catch our bad guys. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy's a cool kettle of fish. I mean, what I like about him is now, you know, with uh, Fast and Furious introducing The Rock's character and the agency that he works for, I think, my character Jimmy kind of expresses another side of that and it's more you know less street racery more police you know law and order you know Jimmy's a lawman and likes to get things done there's a bit of Hobbs in him and there's little things that obviously make Jimmy Jimmy yeah? but you know honestly you know he's a character with a with a big heart and I think you know I think the fans are gonna love him and again I think the fans are going to be a lot more interested into the DSS world than what that entails. Have you had conversations yet about how much and to what extent these characters and this element of the story will integrate into the future films? Because we have another two to go, obviously. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, for, for us right now, this is our focus and we want to make this show amazing. So, you know, nothing has been spoken about from then on, but, you know, we yeah. can't wait for this to get going. Absolutely. And hopefully the audience will love our characters and you never know. Yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, it's one of those things that's kind of up in the air in the moment. I mean, we, we're both open to it. I mean, you know, we love our characters and we hope, we hope the, uh, yeah. the fans, the, the diehard fans, 
take a woman to our characters too. It'd be fantastic, you know, to get introduced and thrusted into that world and to be integrated, you know. Yeah. Would be even more special, you know, because these characters were kind of born on the arena stage and then to kind of get them onto the silver screen would be a blessing, a complete blessing. Yeah. With the drivers and with our characters, yeah. we very much, you know, work together and kind of we bring together the stunts. So our characters come in, come out, um, and then the stunts go on, and we kind of, you know, work all together to, you know, but also, show you the know, show. we talk to the audience, we guide them through yeah. the journey. You know, it's very immersive, um, and very fun to yeah, do. Yeah, so fun. You know, we've done it in front of what three thousand five hundred people so far. We're looking forward to eleven thousand tonight. So we talked to the drivers already and they were talking about some of the things that we're going to see. Do you think there's one particular sequence which is going to be the moment for fans? Ooh, there's so oh, many. Can't, do you know what there is, but it's a secret. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, we can't, we can't say, we can't release yeah. that one. No, no, there's something, there is, there there's going to be something for you guys that you guys are going to love. The one thing we haven't talked about is the cars, which of course is such a huge character. Um, how much of the cars we see are cars that fans will already know from the franchise versus new cars being introduced for the first time? Um, all of them, really. I think the new, the new, the newest car that we've got is the Navistar, which is a uh, Hobbs's truck. Yeah. Um, you know, which goes through it. But um, yeah, no, um, we used most of the cars from the movies. You know, so the Toyota Supra is there. We got the Evo in there, and obviously, you know, you got the muscle car. You got the, you got Dom's Charger. It has to be there. You know, we, we've managed to get them all in so again you know a lot of the die-hard fans are gonna see this and instantly recognize these cars and they're gonna love it and you know they're gonna be screaming all the way through amongst all of our very special guests uh, our guest of honor has to be mr. Vin Diesel himself can you talk a little bit about what makes him such an icon and why people love not just him but his character in this franchise I mean, because he is kind of, you know, when he people think Mr. of Fast, Fast and Furious, Furious, he is. You know, he is Mr. Fast and Furious, you yeah. know. His deep, you know, the deep voice, he's got such a, a great look, yeah, hasn't he? He's exactly. like, he is it. And but it, then also, you know, he's a, you know, the, the character, you know, he's a family man. He's a man that's uh, brought up in morals and values. He has a code. There's lots of stuff. He's the type of guy that you root for. And I think that's why everybody loves him, you know, and Vin totally can captures that. I hope you guys love it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy our characters and I hope you guys love it as much as we have. It's been an enjoyable process. Yeah, just thank you so much for your support. We can't wait to show what we've you know, been working so hard for and we hope you absolutely love it. Look at this amazing arena. How are you tonight, good? Are you excited for tonight? You all are the very first in history to see the live performance that we've been working on called Fast and Furious Live. You are the first. It's so exciting to be here. It's so exciting to be able to present this show. I got to tell you how it started. Roland, who directed this show, was, let's hear it for Roland. He was a fan with an idea. He was a fan with, a, with passion, and he dreamed up this idea that we could have a car theater for all of you, and that you could experience what it was like to make these movies, something that we feel all the time while we're making these movies. So tonight, you are invited to see all of the performers, all of the experts 
create an experience you've never seen before in your life. And it's happening here at the O2 Arena. I just want to say, on behalf of the Fast and Furious Saga, we are so excited that you're all here to launch this. And I will say, on behalf of my brother Pablo, thank you for being a part of our family. We love you. Enjoy the show! <laughs> <laughs>